Good morning and a happy new year to you. We are thankful to God that we've made it through 2021. We'd have lost some people and we would have lost some things. 2020 and 2021 would be forever remembered throughout this world as a one where the world stopped to deal with one singular thing and not just one country or another. The entire world has just stopped to deal with this COVID-19 virus. And the, the good thing is God saw most of us through. We, we, we extend condolences to those we would have lost, to the families, to the friends. But we also thank God that he would have brought us thus far. Thank God for that. Allow me this morning to also admonish you, don't forget the things of the past. A lot of times we, in, in our haste to move on, we forget the lessons learned that the areas of growth that took place. And what happens at that moment is that we, we just are doomed as it were to repeat that those things that we failed or flunked or got depressed over. So hear what? While we are hurry to move on, we're not in a haste to forget or to minimize the things that God would have done with us, in us, and through us over the last year. We thank God for it and we build on those things. Come on, allow me to share now from the Word as we start this new year. Hear what the Bible says in chapter 33 of the book of Exodus. And it came to pass when Moses went out to the tabernacle that the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door and looked at Moses until he was gone into the tabernacle. It came to pass as Moses entered the tabernacle, the pillar, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses and all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshiped every man in his tent door. The Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp, but the servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have, you say unto me, Bring up this people, and you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know your name, and you have, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray you, if I have found grace in your sight, show me the way that I may know you, that I may find grace in your sight and consider that this nation is your people. And he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. I love it. I love the word of God. Let me just start by saying, there comes a time when you've got to leave the crowd behind just to find God. Hear what Moses did. Moses went into the tabernacle. Since, since the tabernacle is now our bodies, because this, this is now the tabernacle of God, what we're supposed to do is, we're supposed to retreat, as it were, and find that space where we can meet with God personally. And, and what better time than when the year begins, when a new season begins. I want to I want to admonish you, please, take the time to meet with God. And hear what the Bible says. It says that, he met with God face to face, but God is a spirit. And so the, the language being used is to indicate that Moses bared himself and God in the relationship showed who he actually was. And they spoke as a friend with a friend. No subterfuge, no, no pretense. He just gave his heart and God likewise spoke from the depths of his own being and they communed. And I think that's what God really wants from us. He wants us to be of ourselves, not just to confess sins and wrong, but to talk about who we are and where we are and how we feel about what we're going through so that he's able to minister at those deeper levels. He says he spoke with God as a man speaks with a friend. Because God is a friend. It's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. I hope that you take the opportunity to meet with him, commune with him, talk with him. Find God in the midst of your distress. Because today starts a new day in the rest of your life. Make it count, but make it count with God. 
So Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people today that as they would extend themselves and give themselves to the things of God and to the grace of God that you will minister completely and totally in their lives and that you'll speak with them as they avail their lives to you that you'll show yourself to be real in Jesus